Yannette here from Lucid Pen, and today I'm going to show you how to achieve this sticker look in Procreate. And you can use this for your handwritten or hand-drawn designs. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing I want to do is go ahead and hide these layers. I'm also going to hide my background color so that I can see better um, what I'm working with. Um, so first thing I want to do is create a new layer. And I'm going to use black and I'm going to use a mono weight brush, which just means that it's a brush that um, no matter how you write, uh, it's always going to be the same thickness all the way around. And I have it set to about 20%. So I'm just going to go ahead and write stickers. If you're not comfortable with your own handwriting, you can always bring in font or text from somewhere else and then continue to do this process. Okay, so it's a little crooked here, so let's just tilt it a little bit. There we go. All right, and we can also resize it. That way we have space for the effect that we wanna use. So now what I'm gonna do is just change this to white and I'm going to add another layer. And I'm actually gonna move this layer down to the bottom so that while I work on it, I can still see my top layer and see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna move, change this to about 70% or so. And I'm just gonna go back and trace my letters with this thicker brush. Make sure you go all the way to the edges, tracing more or less, doesn't have to be perfect. Um, let's redo the S. I want it to be almost the same thickness all the way around the outside. Okay, so now I'm gonna hide this so I can actually see the gaps in this and fill them in. And so there we go starting to look like a sticker now. So the last thing we need to do is add, I duplicate this layer and we're gonna add our drop shadow. So I'm gonna go back to my black and I'm going to select and fill. So now I have a black and you can see it already shows a little bit of an outline for the sticker, but we wanna go ahead and move this just a little bit so it gives it a drop shadow. And if you wanted to soften it up a little bit, you can just blur it ever so slightly, and you can even lighten up that shadow a little bit more by changing the opacity. And so there you go, that's pretty much a sticker. Um, as you can see, let's put the background back on, you can see what it looks like. Like I said, you can always change this to be a little bit thicker, but it has that effect of just being on top of your page. Um, now you can take this a step further and instead of adding your um, drop shadow here, what we can do is delete this. If you wanted to, let's just change the color of this um, sticker. So we'll select it, fill the layer, now our sticker is red. And what I'm going to do here is change this one to black. Now I'm going to go back to my white and I'm going to add another layer to this one here. So I'm gonna, let's create another layer here. I'm gonna move this one down and let's hide this, but we'll keep this one so we can see what we're working with. And I'm gonna bring this brush size all the way up to the top. And I'm just going to trace the outline of this. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect and you'll still get that great effect. So I'm just following along the outside lines. And now that we're done, we can hide this and we can go ahead and fill that. And so now we have a sticker that looks like this. 
Now we can go ahead and duplicate this layer, take this bottom one, select, fill it. Now we've turned it into black. I can go ahead and move it and blur it up just a little bit. And let's see how it looks with our background on. And there you go. So now you have a sticker that has two layers of colors. So you can see the possibilities with this and it's a lot of fun. Um, and I do this a lot with my stickers. I don't do it in Procreate, but this is very, very close to that effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I can't wait to see what you guys create with it. Please don't forget to subscribe so that you can get notified when more tutorials come out. Until next time, bye.